In this laser cutting and Adobe Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can prepare a file to use on a laser cutter. Every laser cutter is different, and these instructions are for using an epilogue laser cutter. We need to set up the file so that the laser cutter knows which pieces to cut and what order to cut them in. In order to do that, we open up our file in Adobe Illustrator and confirm the scale. I got this file from boxes.py, which is a great laser cut box generator. Once you have your file opened up in Illustrator, we can take a look at the layers panel, and we're gonna notice that we have one layer and we have multiple groups within that layer. So we can tackle these group by group. For an epilogue laser cutter, we need to make the cut lines 0.001 stroke weight, and we need to make them red. But if we make all of the cut lines red, then they'll all cut out at the same time. What we wanna do is change these blue lines to either green or yellow or something other than red, and then have all these black lines be red because blue is the default etching line for epilogue laser cutters. So we wanna make sure that they're a different color than blue, but we also don't want them to be red because we wanna separate them by color when we actually cut them out. We need to cut these holes first before cutting the outline so the piece doesn't shift when cutting with the laser cutter. In the layers panel, I can twirl out this first group. And then over here on the right, I can select this meatball and then shift select all of the items. So now you can see over here on the right hand side that I have them all selected. Then I can click on properties. They're still selected. And notice my stroke. Right here in the stroke panel, I can type 0 0.001. And then I can click on the fill color and I can pick a different color. If you don't see your swatches, you can click on swatches down at the bottom. And then you can click default swatches, art and illustration, select all your swatches, and then add the swatches. Sometimes Illustrator loses your swatches and it's an easy way to fix them. So now I can click here and I have a nice green color that I can use. I usually use green because that's the color of the first traffic light, so I know that one goes first. You can use any color you want. Now if I off click, you'll notice that these are very light, 0 .001. While I'm in this group, in the layers panel, I can go ahead and click this top path, click the meatball, and then I can go to properties, and I'll do the same thing. I'll change the stroke to 0 .001. Then I'll click right here and make it red. Now I have this red stroke right here, and I just need to do the same thing to the other ones. So I'll repeat that process and then skip ahead. So let's look at the layers panel. I'll twirl this one up, then I'll twirl this one out. Once again, I click the meatball, then shift click, then go to properties, change the stroke to 0 0.001, change the color to green. Then I can click this path right here, but since it's in a group, I may not only have this path, it just depends. You can always check in the layer panel. And in this particular case, I have multiple things selected, so I wanna make sure I just pick the same path right here so I can meatball it right there. Go to properties, change the stroke to 0 0.001, and then change the color to red. Go back to the layers panel. I can select this path as well, which is the one down here. Go to the properties panel, stroke 0 0.001, and then the color can be green. I can see which group this is, and I go to the layers panel, and I'll see that is down here. I can click this first path, meatball it, Go back to properties, stroke 0 0.001, and then make it red. Go back to layers, and then we can see that we need to do these paths and these paths up here. So these ones I haven't done yet, so I'll meatball all of these. And then I should be able to meatball these down here by holding control or command. So now that you know the process, I can be more efficient by selecting more of them at one time. Then I can go to Properties, change the stroke to 0 .001, and then change the color to green. I'll zoom out a bit to see what we still have to do. So the only one we have left is this one up here. Since we've already calibrated this, I can go ahead and just delete the reference rectangle. Now I just need to change this one here. So if I look at the stroke, I'll make it 0 .001 and then I'll make it red. So now I have all of my pieces 
ready for cutting on the laser cutter. If I had anything to etch, I could bring in an image, a JPEG, or draw lines on here, and then it'll etch those out. On an epilogue laser cutter, we make that as blue. So if I wanted to type some text and then make it into strokes, I could do that as well. But more importantly, we need to make sure that our laser cut pieces will fit on our material. To do that, we can change the artboard size. Over on the left, we have the artboard tool. If I click the artboard tool and I zoom out, we have this one artboard. Over here, I can change the width and height. I know that I'm going to be using a 12 inch by 12 inch, so I can type 12 IN, even though I'm in millimeters, it'll automatically update. And then I can change my height to the same, so I can copy that and then paste it down at the bottom. And so now I have 12 inches by 12 inches. And if I look here, some of my pieces are quite close. What I can do is move these around potentially to make sure that I have all my pieces on the page. I can also move the artboard up, but you notice by default, all the pieces move with the artboard. That's good behavior, but in this case we don't. So we can uncheck move artwork with artboard. And then I can just move the artboard up and see if I can fit everything on. It looks like this one will be a little large to fit this piece right here. So I can go back to boxes.py and make it a 90 millimeter box instead of a 100 millimeter box. I can't scale it in Illustrator because that will scale all the different curves and the pieces. So if I know that it's not gonna fit and I can get a different piece, I can go ahead and make this 13 inches tall. And now I have enough space for my cut to make it. If I have a 13 by 12 inch piece, then everything fits. If I have a 12 inch by 12 inch piece, then I need to make some adjustments. So this is gonna be different for everyone's laser cut project in the material you have. You can also make two artboards. So for example, if I option click this or alt click, I have another artboard. Now I can change this. Let's say I have a scrap piece that's like six inches by six inches. Then I can leave the artboards, click on the selection tool, and I can bring this piece over here to this artboard. And then I have plenty of space to be able to cut these pieces out on a 12 inch by 12 inch, and then cut this one on scrap. So it's a good way to use materials in different ways because you can just draw artboards based on the size of the material you have for laser cutting, and then move the different groups to the piece that you need. Hopefully this allows you to set up your Illustrator file for cutting on an epilogue laser cutter. Happy laser cutting.